You. Joining me now with reaction, D.L. Hughley, actor, radio host, and author of Black Man, White House, an oral history of the Obama years. D.L., thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. I didn't know Mark Furman was going to be here. What did you, what did you make of it? Because you were shaking I think, your head. I think that cops will have, see, have a different perspective than us, and I think it was interesting to hear Mark Furman, who was actually uh, got in trouble for uh, perjuring himself, call somebody a liar. It's ridiculous to me. Mm -hmm. and, but what do you make of the fact that she had inconsistencies in her story. I think that I think the cop had inconsistencies in his too. Mm -hmm. To me. So then you let the you know you let the evidence play out. Here's my problem. No matter racism. it is my belief that no matter what happens, no matter what we see, the cops are given a presumption of innocence. If they that same tape showed a suspect doing something, that would be all the prosecution would need. And they would say the evidence is all right here. But a cop gets a presumption of innocence that is, he, he, no matter what they see, we can see somebody getting shot to death. They go, we don't know what happened before. We don't know what happened after. Mm -hmm. I know this, that in a state, in both these states, men, a lot of men in Louisiana, 50 or 47 percent of people carry guns. Men carry guns. So mm -hmm. men having guns on them can't be that unusual. Why wasn't the first question, rather than assuming, uh, they, do you have a permit for that? Mm -hmm. Those are states that you can carry a gun. But you're making assumptions because we don't know what happened. No, no. What we have right now is her testimonial, which doesn't catch, capture the actual event. Do we know whether she's credible? Do we know whether We know she, this. We what? know he had a permit to carry a gun. But, but that doesn't answer any no, of the questions. That, that absolutely if, if he, answers the question. If he pulled the firearm on the officer, if he didn't disclose it, if the officer felt why, threatened. Why on earth would you, uh, here's, here's, here's what we do know. He had a permit to carry a gun. When you get a permit to carry a gun, they tell you exactly how to act when a police that officer pulls you That doesn't mean he didn't threaten the officer. That, that, I'm, you're willing to give them a presumption of innocence. I'm not I'm giving not. them presumption. Well, the law gives them the presumption Absol of innocence. No, no. They're, they're bad. I don't give we don't know the facts. I, I mean, know we, we saw this happen with Michael Brown of Ferguson. And where, we still don't know the facts there. Well, we, we have a police yeah, officer's word we and a grand jury's word. No, we have the Department of Justice's word. The, the Department of Justice shut down Ferguson. Ferguson had to be no, no. shut down because it was the so corrupt. The Department of Justice found that the police office, that the police there had endemic racism. They found that. Right. But they also exonerated Officer but Derek that's, Wilson. That's not a, and they found let, let hands up, something. don't shoot was a let lie. Let me ask you something. And that no, Michael that is, Brown uh, wow. was the aggressor. Wow. Here's what I'll don't, say. Don't wow me. That's don't don't what, tell that's me not to wow you. I can, find, I can say wow if I want to, and that I'll tell you this. That is what they found, I'll Neil. tell you this. They found systemic racism, right? Mm -hmm. So it's unbelievable. It's, um, we, they also found systemic racism. And, and we know that Darren Wilson, Wilson left the department because it was so racist it had to be disbanded. And he went to Ferguson, another department that, has, that is rife with racism. So that so makes far, him a racist. So it, it, absolutely. You know what? I have no problem. Michael Brown I have no problem. that officer's gun that's and what, tried to shoot is, him in his is, patrol that is, that is, no one has proven that. No That's one has proven that. That's what Eric Holder's DOJ and, concluded. And, and, and Eric Holder's DOJ concluded that that department was so rife with uh, That's with a dodge. Corruption. I already That's gave that. A, I, I, I already conceded Megan, that, DL. Megan, We're Megan, talking about Michael Brown Megan, and the let's lie be clear. of hands up, don't, I don't shoot. I don't dodge at all. I'm here in Fox then News. Then let's stay where, on it. Then let's stay on okay, Michael then, Brown. My, no, no. Eric We're talking about. No, 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 no. We're talking about. No, no. I'm not talking. No, woman. I'm not talking about. You don't dodge, then let's stay in balance. Eric talking about. We were talking about. That we were Brown talking about the young man that just got murdered in, in Minnesota. And, and it the went rush to, and to it judgment went, and the assumption have, you know something have, when you don't I, actually well, first know off, it. First off, what I'll tell you is this. It is not uncommon for you all to see one thing. The only place racism doesn't exist is Fox News and the police department. Come that's on. the only place. That, that's on. absolutely that's true. That's insulting. You that, just insulted millions of people I, watching this channel. And, and you know what? I'm insulted by, by the things I hear on this network, so we're even. I could care less about insulting people that insult me on a daily basis. You're making a point that is, before the insults, the point you started to make is true. And we can talk about that, that whites perceive the situation when it comes I don't to these I think a lot Let of people finish. on this network Let me just have never seen a black man anything could, deserved could you, hold, could you hold the insults for a second so we can have a productive conversation? You were going to make the points that, that whites see certain incidents differently than blacks do. And we saw sure. that in the O.J. Simpson sure. case when the verdict came down. Sure. I'll give you that. Most reasonable people will give you that. But you know what shuts down all reasonable dialogue is throwing out the term racism before it's been proven. You know what's, uh, first off, I'll say this. I, I believe that there is a uh, ben uh, benefit of the doubt given to police officers. It's not given to anybody else. And maybe, yeah, obviously they do a tough job. You can't, the, in, in 2006, the FBI came out with a report that said that police departments were rife with white supremacists. Said it, not me. 
So why would not believe if I know that? I don't know a black man that hasn't had a run with a police officer mm -hmm. from the highest to the lowest. That, so my you've perception, been backed up on that by my many perception people. of this is to, is based on the experience I've had, just like yours are. Mm -hmm. So I am not willing to give them a benefit of that. I have seen a lot of things. That Mark, I lived in the city that Mark Furman police that also had to be uh, had to be taken over by the federal government. It's, just, it's, it's so very dangerous when you get to the point where you paint with. An entire group with the same brush, based on the it, bad actions of, of a few. That is, that is amazing to place. hear on this network. That really is. TL. That really is amazing to hear on this network. The only place racism doesn't exist. Thank you for having me. Take care. Also tonight, new details.